फिल्म The story behind that. Bag the film. I'm not too All sure. Right. I like that too much. I like to believe that films find you. Uh, you. You have to put the energy out there about your work, and I'd like to believe that somewhere destiny has its you know part to play in in whatever little work we manage to do in our lives. Um, I think the the answer for me is is pretty simple. Uh, the more fun answer is obviously for Sayami. when uh, balki came up with this idea and we were discussing it the one thing balki was sure of and said uh, a lot publicly as well that he can interchange any actor and every actor is dispensable only one person he will not make this movie without and that was sayami and he was sure from day one um, even before he you know even spoke to her about doing the film that this is the girl that i want for the film this is the girl that's going to be part of it and if she says no or she isn't able to be part of it in any which way he won't make the film and once you see the film i think you'll understand why right all right uh, sami did you know about this and how did you feel when you got to know that balki said this about you uh well like you know ab was saying that i think films find you if you put it out to the universe in time it takes its time but it finds you I've been kind of putting out this film to the universe since I started acting because I really love the sport, and uh, it was destiny, it was timing, you call it whatever it was. But uh, Balki saw me playing cricket somewhere like four or five years ago, and uh, he had this little idea that he wanted to do this film with me. I didn't really ever believe him at that point, but he said he wanted to do it. I was uh, supremely excited. I didn't show the excitement, uh, but yes, I'm glad that this film eventually ended up happening, and it uh, happened with AB in it because I can't imagine anyone else besides him in the film. Right, Abhishek, have you thanks. seen? Thanks. Basically, you're saying I'm this grumpy old guy. Say, I mean, thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, he cut umber kar diya usne. Nobody can play this nasty, venomous, acerbic tongued person. Thanks. Sammy the, the vulnerability know. that the vulnerability oh, 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 oh. that comes yeah after thought mein nahi chalega ye sab nahi 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 after thought mein ye sab nahi chalega i have interviewed yeah, abhishek yeah. before and you have to be very careful of what you say in front of him because he will catch you everything you should everything. be careful about what you say in front of anybody anybody yeah that is true that yeah. is true uh, especially, but abhishek I mean, especially if if you are if you are relatively junior actor in the film industry Working with uh, this war veteran of twenty-three years. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Meet, meet me in the evening <laughs> now. I'm seeing you in the evening. You wait and see. Yeah, war veteran is true because you started your your journey as a refugee in the movie. Yes, uh, in the first movie that you did. Uh, so, Abhishek, have you seen any of her work? Because uh, um, I have seen some of her films, and the most the one that I remember right now is Choked, which was written by my friend Neet, and I think she was phenomenal in that. Uh, Have you been? A, she was very, very good in it. I've seen all of Sayami's work. Uh, half of her career has been spent with me. So, um, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, after she debuted with uh, Rakesh's Mirzia, which I obviously yeah. saw and I loved her in it. Uh, we worked in Breathe together from 2018 onwards. We've done two seasons together. So Sayami's work is somebody that I'm very well acquainted uh, with, and I think that really helped in Ghumar. and i um jokingly say you know breathe was almost like a rehearsal for us to work together in cooper um because from the word go there was a certain ease of interaction there was a ease in front of the camera um mm-hmm. which at times can be uh, challenging if you don't have that but luckily because we've done so much work together i mean i think we've been working together for what almost 4 years same before yeah. we started gumer we mm-hmm. started breathe in 2018 yes. so um you know there was a wonderful understanding creative collaboration um so that made our job that much easier and i'd like to believe that that ease and comfort um comes across ami abhishek plays your trainer in the film and he's 
he is really strict and he is eccentric and there there are some words that i used to describe his character so uh, what all did you learn from him apart from of course bowling and the gomer style that he is teaching you anything in life that you learned from him so you know he uh, he jokes around about how uh, now i'm getting scared with regards to what i'm going to say but when i said that he i couldn't imagine anyone else is yes he is grumpy yes he is insensitive in the film but when you watch the film you will come out feeling like completely rooting for his character and that's because of the the kindness and vulnerability he brings in that's where i was getting to uh, but with regards to gumar and learning i feel um, you know he's somebody who has uh, we worked together on brief but i really enjoy watching him so i'm almost like a student watching him Absolutely. when he's performing yeah. he did this big long monologue uh, which is in the trailer and uh, you know how prepared he is you know how mm. uh, uh with 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 balki sir there are lots of surprises that are thrown at you but he's just somebody who's so prepared with uh, everything that comes his way so in front of camera there there were a whole lot of learnings there were a whole lot of learnings he keeps throwing pearls of wisdom because i'm going to call him ab sir from now but he is uh, very very wise <laughs> very very wise man so just being around him you you get a lot of life lessons right um i want to ask this question to both of you and these are the last two questions um i review for times of india and that's one of the things i do so um how much of an importance does review hold for you in today's day and age when everyone's a reviewer like i'm talking about just social media and stuff like do you read do you take something from there or you think or you don't every, every review for me matters every review it's always mattered uh previously uh, before the advent of social media um mm-hmm. you only had our newspapers to yeah. to read and understand what your audience is possibly thinking of the film and how you can change or improve today you have that much more volume um every every ticket matters every opinion matters to me and every review matters so i read them very keenly good thank you so much the the good thing about about being a a, a film critic Mm. um i think is also because you belong to a publication so mm. for people like us it's easier to access your whereabouts in case we don't like your review <laughs> oh please then, uh... balki made that movie called <laughs> chup and i reviewed it and i was so scared of writing that review and i was actually doing it because <laughs> all the reviewers were getting killed no i i always said that um i think we we look upon um critics and reviews in the wrong way i mean you have somebody who's telling you what to do and how to improve for free and why would you not take that advice if you genuinely wanted to keep improving thank you so much yeah so i mean you have any thoughts on that no so you know yeah, the we, first for my day we're I was... starting this thing that whoever gives bad reviews um we're going to put them in a batting cage with sayami and she'll bowl one of her 100 milers at them and you without any sort of helmet or whatever have to face the bowling well i'm i'm not sure this <laughs> if i'm reviewing this film or not <laughs> <laughs> no no please review it just give a good one that's all <laughs> <laughs> no i think my first film i i was probably pretty nervous to see what the reviews were and i i uh, refrain from reading but i have a very harsh family who will mark out everything which is not correct in the review they won't send mm. me the good stuff but they'll definitely send me the bad stuff uh, so <laughs> now thankfully they have changed a little bit and they send me the good and the bad so I do end up reading everything because, like Amy was saying, it is hmm. free advice you get. You have to, and I think somewhere when you work, you you also know uh, that there's always scope for improvement. Uh, because if there isn't, then you shouldn't yeah. be working. So I feel a reviewer definitely helps with that. Thank you. And Abhijit, who is your in-house reviewer? Because you have such stalwarts at home itself. All of them, all of them, yeah. you know, share their think- opinion. Okay. all of them share their opinion um uh, it doesn't have to be negative it can be positive as well yeah uh, but they're all very encouraging and i think that's the best part i mean okay. um and it's wonderful to have that kind of talent pool at home you know mom yeah. dad and ashwarya and to to hear their opinion uh, these are all actors that i have immense respect for um Absolutely. you know as a as a colleague and obviously you want to hear their opinion and what they thought and they're very generous with their opinions whether they like it or they don't 
this year has been especially very uh, different i would say because everyone from your family has had a release kind of i mean uh, your dad always he's always working so we can't even talk about that but uh, has the mood at home changed like there's a lot of movie talk happening or is it still you make sure that there's no movie talk and only you know i i think what happens is i mean there's obviously a fair amount of it uh yeah. but when you know you've been actors for so long i mean that's your daily job right so it yeah. becomes part of your daily routine yeah um but yes obviously very very happy uh, after seeing ps2 um and yeah. the and the huge success that it was and i really thought ashwarya was sensational in the film sensational and then, Rocky, and then um, mom mom with her release yeah um yeah. so i'm i'm glad that um you know everybody's work is coming out and i'm happy Right. Finally, last thing. I do a show called Talk Health, and since you are playing sports persons here, health is a very big uh, part of that. So, just quickly, if you can share your health care routine for both of you. Uh, Abhishek, you are looking phenomenally radiant today. So, something oh, you are doing right. You. Yeah, the lighting is fantastic. <laughs> no, what, what what do you do to look the, so great? uh i i you know you have to just hope you have good looking parents i guess this <laughs> <laughs> that is probably right. little to do <laughs> with me that's a good start <laughs> yeah. and um no man i think you know uh, keep hydrated um sleep well and eat healthy if you can and get yeah. exercise in, as and when possible yeah i just did my push ups sami what about you i think uh, you know exercise is key and eating healthy is key so if you if you manage to even if you don't get the time and you get in like 15 minutes in between a very busy day 15 minutes is good i think uh, being consistent is the most important so as long as you're consistent so, you will be healthy in everything yes absolutely thank you so much guys for your time and uh, i hope thank you uh, uh, you're thank doing you, phenomenally well and i don't thank if i you. review it i don't get any goomers from you No no you won't don't worry <laughs> Thank you so much Thank you Ronan right